The Aventador LP750-4 is the first Lamborghini Superveloce model to be offered as a roadster. However, production of the open-top version is limited to only 500 units. The front fascia has been redesigned to have even sharper lines. The lower part now features two wings, one in carbon fiber and one in body color. Larger front air inlets and optimized brake cooling. In fact, all of the design changes weren't dictated by the desire to improve the styling, but by the desire to improve the performance. Aerodynamics have been improved by 150% in terms of efficiency, and downforce is 170% higher over the standard of Entador. On the inside, the Supervelos looks more like a Le Mans prototype than like a road car. That's not to say it's Spartan, just that it comes with racing-themed everything. Although, now that we've mentioned it, it is a lot more Spartan than the standard of Entador and lacks fancy things like power seats, for example. The carbon fiber monocoque is visible in several places, like center console and the sills. The shells of seats are also made from carbon fiber, with Alcantara upholstery and Y-shaped leather inserts. Unlike the Aventador LP700-4, the Supervelos doesn't come with a central infotainment display. In fact, it doesn't come with an infotainment system at all. It's been stripped so you can focus on the driving. And to save weight, of course. If you're worried about tech features, Lamborghini can reinstall the system at no extra cost. The all-wheel drive 2016 Lamborghini Aventador LP750-4 Superveloce uses the same mammoth engine as the LP700-4, a naturally aspirated, 6.5-liter V12. But this time, it puts out 750 horsepower. In case the name hadn't already given that way. Maximum torque is 507 pounds foot at 5,500 rpm, while the rev limit is 8,500 rpm. A 7-speed automated manual transmission is mated to the V12. According to Lamborghini, it's the fastest production gearbox in the world, capable of 50 millisecond shifts.